In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the best cow farm in Minecraft. It's less laggy than other designs and breeding cows in it is easier. And I'll even show you how to put other animals in it like sheep and pigs. Let's go look at the material list. As far as the materials that you're going to need, we're going to be looking at a looting three fire aspect sword, this many solid blocks that I use for the border and this many solid blocks that I used for the uh, kind of exterior wall areas, 64 plus 10 of any type of wall, 64 plus 26 slabs, 64 plus eight iron bars, 32 glass panes, two chests, four hoppers, two spruce trap doors, and then 64 plus eight cows. 72 i'm sure you guys can do the math but that's what we used for this size farm okay so to make it easy for everybody we're going to start with where you would stand to farm the actual cows pigs or sheep because you can do all three with this and i'll show you how to do all three towards the end but what we're going to do is i'm going to actually i'm going to build myself up in the air a little bit just to kind of make it easier to do screenshots for this thing and show everything but let's say this is our ground level this is where we're going to stand i'm just going to carve myself out a little space right here but I'm going to leave a little slot right here. I'm going to put a chest here. This is where our items are going to go. And then we are going to face hoppers into the back of the chest and face hoppers into the back of these hoppers, just like that. I'm going to go ahead and just cover up these sides right here. I'm going to put walls right there and uh, we could go ahead and cover up these sides like this. I'm going to put trap doors right here and then we're going to cover off the back side of this and bring this whole thing up by three blocks. We can cover that over. We're going to leave that open just like this. Actually, just for fun, let's go ahead and let's replace this with glass so we can see in the front. We're going to put glass right here um, and we're going to border this little area right here just like this. And then we're going to work in multiples of eight here because we're using water flow to move the baby cows around and water will flow eight blocks. So while you can make this whatever size you want to, you can make it four blocks wide. You can make it 50 blocks wide. Like it doesn't really matter. Just for our ease today, we're going to use multiples of eight because I think that'll be easiest for a lot of you guys to follow that are just going to follow things exactly how I do them. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start right here on the edge. This is going to count as block number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And then we're just going to bring this across right here and just border this thing in. Um, that way our water doesn't get out and our cows will have a little chamber to go through. And just to show you, if I put water here, it'll flow all the way to the end and it'll stop. We don't need to put water in yet, so we're just going to take that out because we don't want to have to fight the water here in a minute for the next parts of this. But do that same thing on this side. OK, now, once you have that part done, we're going to work in multiples of eight again. Coming out from right here, we're going to go out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And we're just going to make this into one big platform. And then while this is the platform where the cows are going to land, we're actually just going to go ahead and we're just going to border this thing in because we're going to put up some walls as well. So I'm just going to build this around. And then we're going to build up the corners. One, two, three. We'll go four for now. We may have to go up higher in a little bit. And these are all just building blocks, guys. So whatever you want to use to kind of build this thing up and make it look good to your liking, go ahead and use is perfectly fine. This farm is not going to be picky on the type of block that you're going to use in these scenarios through here. And I like using glass because I can see through it and I can see what's going on with my farm no matter where I am. Uh, but again, decorate things how you like. OK, and as you can see, we're not going to do water yet, but if I put water here, it flows to the very end and stops because we did the eight blocks. Next is going to be our wall blocks. We're just going to take them from one side here, leaving a one space gap on this side and taking them all the way down. And of course, putting down a lot of extra walls by accident, because that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to skip a space and we're going to put a the same row of walls right here, right here and right here. So go ahead, get all those right now, put them in place them down. OK, now, once you have those wall blocks up, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put another ring of blocks around here on the top. And then I'm going to take some slabs of any type. And I'm going to fill in straight down here in rows. If you're wanting the location of this, this is not right above the walls. This is going to be in the gaps where there are no walls. And the next thing I'm going to recommend you do is take a glass pane and go ahead and place it against every single one of these blocks right here, just like this skipping a block, right? So we're going to leave one block on the end, put a pane down, skip a block, skip a block, skip a block, and then go down to the other end and do the same thing. Pain, 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 pain. 
And then since we're dealing in even numbers here, we're, we're going to have like a bigger space in the middle. That's fine. At least it's all symmetrical and working out and do this for every single one of the rows. If you're enjoying today's video, help it get discovered by more people by clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Also, if you enjoy my videos, click the subscribe button, join my discord channel and become a channel member by clicking the join button. Members get awesome perks, including access to my members only Minecraft servers. Now back to the video. OK, so this is what you should have. But now is when you need to get your cows in and you can get them up here or around here any way you want. And if you want to give yourself a little bit of more room to walk around, you can just throw in a little bit of a border around. Maybe we'll do that here for ourselves as well. And then you're just going to want to bring cows in, get them up here via a lead, or you can even lure them with some wheat like so. Right. Get them to get them to follow you around. And then you need to push two cows into each section. So right here, let's see if I can get this guy in here. He's gonna he's gonna be a little difficult. It's okay. It's okay. Go on, buddy. There he goes. Okay, that's cow number one. And we would do the same thing with the second cow. There we go. Two. Go ahead and do that. Get two in each cell. Okay, so we have our cows in cells here. And in our case, some of them are like actually like sitting directly on top of each other. So we we are gonna want to go through and and fix that, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of build myself up here, and then I'm going to build myself like a little walkway. And then I'm just gonna kind of walk across them like this, pushing them. And if you do this on all four rows, it'll separate all the cows out. So that way none of them are on top of each other, which is gonna make feeding them here in a few moments a lot easier. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and throw your water in all the way across the back side here. So your one piece of water there, your one piece of water, piece of water, bucket of water. Yeah, bucket of water. Throw that there and then close that back up go back up top you see all your cows are now spread out and what we're going to want to do is uh, we just put a little block right here and then i'm going to take something thin like iron bars or panes of glass or something like that and then just come straight across like this and this is going to keep you from accidentally falling in is there only one cow on this side there's no cows on this side what happened and then now when we do that as you can see i don't have to worry about accidentally falling inside Okay, now that all your cows are here, feeding is gonna be made super easy. All you gotta do is just kind of click really quick and then like strafe yourself sideways. Move your character sideways like this and you will feed every single one of the cows. And then you can very easily do this for all the rows. And there we go. We just fed 64 cows, which is gonna get us 32 baby cows. Now, the good thing about Bedrock Edition is you can refeed these cows every single minute whereas on java edition you have to wait five minutes so now basically what we have kind of like i mentioned earlier we have this very like organized cow area that's not creating a lot of lag because those like cow pits where all the cows drop in and bob into like one area they, they create a lot of lag um they don't look cool and usually you're not actually feeding all of the cows that are in there so while they are space efficient they are not use efficient if that's a thing and then as you may have seen all of our cows they kind of went down here they dumped in and they fell in here now you may wonder why exactly did i put these trap doors here because you cannot accidentally hit the babies you can see i'm aiming as low as i can i can't hit the babies so with these trap doors here that way right over top of these fence gates it makes it so they can't get out and then also i said fence gates i definitely meant walls and it makes it so they cannot get out and then I can't accidentally kill any of the babies before they grow up. And then now we can go through and we can feed these guys multiple times and then get ourselves a lot of baby cows down there. Now, there is going to be a limit to this. You're not going to want to do too many because if you have too many baby cows down there, you're going to create yourself a lot of lag in your world because of so many cows just being in one area. But depending on your device, you could probably do this two, three, maybe even five times, especially if you're not on a multiplayer server, you're just on a single player world. Get yourself a whole lot of baby cows down there and let them grow up. You can kind of see them all flowing in. They flow down, they flow over, and they drop one down in here. Now, when it comes to killing these guys, in the past, I've set up like little lava traps, right? That you can just like let them grow up into lava. But I didn't want to include that this time because it's really inefficient. If you set up a little trap for lava to where they get killed by the lava, you do get cooked beef out of it, which is good, but you don't get the looting effect. And the looting effect is what makes this type of farm so powerful. So I recommend not falling off your platform you've made 
and putting down an anvil, taking your netherite sword or whatever diamond sword, whatever you have, adding looting three to it. So that way you get more beef, more leather, and also adding fire aspect to it. Because if you kill them while they're on fire or kill them with fire aspect in this case, it will make it so you get cooked beef instead of just the raw beef. So it's going to be a lot more efficient for you. You don't have to cook the meat. And really now at this point, we just have a waiting game. Now, you may have noticed I was getting experience points while breeding these guys up and I went through and I bred them five times. I don't even know how many levels I got out of that. Probably not a whole lot, but you are going to get some experience points from this. Wow. We got to level 20 in five minutes wow. just from breeding cows. That's all we did. We haven't even killed cows yet. We've just bred them. So now it's a waiting game to wait for all of these guys to grow up into adult cows. Now, also, while we wait for that to happen, I want to show you how you can do other types of animals in this. I'm going to show you sheep and pigs as well, because you can easily use this for sheep and pigs. So if I were to go ahead and make myself a little mock chamber, kind of how we had over there, and we have the wall going across here. Uh, we are going to build ourselves up one more block around this. And I'm going to put slabs before we are putting them at this level for cows. You can actually do the exact same way for sheep. I'll go ahead and put my little glass pane in here as well. You can see that I can have a couple sheep in here or a couple sheep in here, and then they can't get out. But if I take the wheat out, separate these guys out kind of like we did over in the other area there we go you see the sheep they pop right out the bottom same thing for pigs so i'm gonna give myself a little bit of space over here the wall in now the slabs instead of going at this level they're gonna go one lower that's all you got to do that's the only difference so we're gonna go ahead and build this thing exactly the same but we're gonna put our half slab one block lower than we did before put our little separators in you would go ahead find your pigs and push them in and then you're going to end up with these guys right here just like this you would go down to the bottom push them around a little bit just like that that way they're all separated out get yourself some carrots or some potatoes and once you feed them they pop out the bottom in terms of food sources that's probably all the ones you would want to have obviously with this if you kill the sheep you're going to get wool as well so you do have that uh the pigs usually it's a little bit easier to get carrots and potatoes in mass I, I do have a recent carrot and potato farm and i do have a recent wheat farm so if you want to get carrots potatoes wheat whatever to feed these guys check out those farms but if you want to use pigs instead they are still a really good food source so you can very easily use them um in this same exact farm layout as well okay and once all all of your baby cows have grown up we can now go in and get ourselves not only a lot of beef a lot of leather but a, a lot of experience points too so we're just gonna go through kill them with our looting three fire aspect two sword and start getting ourselves all the beef there we go got ourselves up to level 28 and now we can just watch it all pour in here and again, this was just from about five minutes of breeding. Now, of course, it takes a little bit longer for them to actually grow up. But after about five minutes of breeding, maybe going around doing some other things in your base, this is what you're going to end up with. And there you have it. From just that little bit of time, we got ourselves five and a half, roughly, sacks of leather, and then nine and a little bit stacks of beef. So it doesn't really take a long amount of time to get yourself a lot of food and a lot of leather as well for things you may want leather for, like putting armor on armor stands or making item frames to organize your storage or whatever. So super awesome way to get yourself a whole lot of food in a really short period of time. You can download today's tutorial world by clicking the link down in the description below. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, then show YouTube by leaving a comment down below, clicking the like button or subscribing to the channel. Also want to give a special shout out to Diamond Tier member SFX Shadow. Thanks to everybody and I'll see you in the next one.